Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here in the lovely world of raccoons with me, Vanilla Raccoon. Heyo! And in this episode, I'm going to be doing things slightly different. Normally, what I would do is I would let you know what the general idea for the segment or the entire episode is, begin working on it, and then bring it back when I have a bit of a progress update or show you the final result. However, what I would like to do that is differently in this episode is do some of the work on camera, and then when I do a quick little cut, I can take a step back, look at what I had done, and make any adjustments that I see fit to do so, and then let you know in the next segment what it is that I had done. So let me know in the comment section down below if this is something that you would like to see more of, if it's something that you don't really enjoy that much, or if it's something that you think that may have potential and all I have to do at least is continue to work on it and improve on it. So let's go ahead and take a look what we have right over here. This is where we're going to be setting up an enchanting station. Now, I want to go ahead and begin by just creating a little bit of an outline like this with varied types of logs. So that way we can have a barrier that is similar to what we have already going on. And normally what I would do is utilize the varied stone textures that I have within my resource pack. But I'm not going to do that only because, at least in my opinion, you can only do something for so long until you begin to get tired of it. So now, let's go ahead and quickly check our I think it's gonna be in this shulker box but I'm not entirely sure let's go ahead and check our ender chest and try and figure out exact oh wooden leftovers this is where we're gonna have it this is one way that if you're looking to figure out how you can go ahead and utilize your shulker boxes to have an interesting looking storage area, you can at least do something like this where let's just go ahead and quickly poke into the ender chest. As you can see here, I have a shulker box for almost anything and everything that I could at least think up of that I would need for Minecraft. And we're just now going to continue to place down these fence posts just as you see right here. And then we'll prop you down right there. So now let's begin by placing the bookshelves along the fence post that we have right here. And I don't want this to look too complex, but I also don't want this to look like something you would normally see within Minecraft when someone creates an enchanting station. So let's oh, pick up that misplaced bookshelf, place you down right there. And I think, I think, I think, I think I'm going to place this very last bookshelf right there. And then we'll go ahead and sit our enchanting table down just like that. And then just to prevent any endermen that may fall down from the platform that is above us or spawning from the inverted stairs along the choo-choo line and making their way over here, we're just going to create a little roof by placing down the stone slabs that we have just like that and now not only do we have not enough headspace to jump around in but we also at least can be guaranteed some safety from the endermen now before we move over to the main island where I want to continue working on some stuff in this episode, I at least want to point out that I recently utilized the infinite rail glitch so that I can have a solid line of powered rails that will lead from the Ender Ender 3.0 back to the main island and vice versa. This is going to save me a ton of resources so that I don't have to worry about going off in the overworld doing a bit of a mining session to find enough gold ore to smelt down to gather the minerals from them and then create these powered rails. However, I wouldn't really consider that to be too much of a problem seeing as how in this world at least I have the ore generation cranked up a little bit along with the ore vein sizes. So I'm going to go ahead begin to gather up all my shulker boxes, place them within the ender chest and I'll meet you guys over on the main island. So right before us we have something that I'm going to be referring to as a chorus forest. This is going to offer a bit of a challenge when aiming at the end crystals that will respawn on top of the surrounding obsidian pillars with our bow and arrows. Now when I was creating the chorus forest I wanted the chorus flowers to grow up to be big and strong 
chorus trees. However, through much trial and error, and I'm still going through this trial and error, I have at least found that it is most optimal to plant down our chorus flowers within a two to three block range to start with. And then once we begin to have the trees grow, we can then go back and look at any of the open spaces and place down another chorus flower, which will then lead to them having one to two block spaces in between them. But for the most part at least, I like how the chorus forest looks both on this side and especially over here on this side as well. Now, right along this pathway, we do have a man-made pit. This is where I am going to be relocating a few chickens and cows to from the Yovo world. And the reason why is because in my Discord server, link to that can be found in the description box down below. But in my Discord server, someone had brought something to my attention. And I at least consider this to be of the utmost importance. So we're going to need a few buckets of milk, a handful of eggs, and a fair amount of wheat. However, in my foodstuff shulker box, I already have a fair amount of wheat. So all we need to do is relocate the cows here so we can get a few buckets of milk from them. And then relocate the chickens so that way we can get a handful of eggs. Now seeing as how I am not the best at capturing on camera, relocating any type of mob within Minecraft, I'm going to do most of that off camera. However, if I'm able to capture any of it on camera for use, then I'll make sure to do so. Okay guys, so we are over here at the fantasy style village and I must say I recently visited th this place during a stream and I haven't been over here since I've actually started working on my own resource pack and I just gotta say the fact that our dark oak and our spruce planks and stairs all have a different look to them now this place looks a little more beautiful a little more vibrant and full of life at least in my own opinion. But what I thought I would do is actually just for the heck of it and hopefully it makes entertaining content for you to enjoy, I would go ahead and show you how it is that I go about relocating the Moomoos from one place to another. So right now we're just going to lead this one little Moomoo. Moo. I decided I'm only going to bring the one because realistically all I need is just one cow and then it's not like once we milk him we'll have to wait a certain amount of time to milk him again again we can just take as many buckets as we have on our person and begin the milking process now so far i have been pretty successful in relocating this cow all the way from our fantasy style village out to stronghold island and the reason why i decided to relocate him from point a to point b via the overworld is so that one i can make sure that no gas would spawn and then shoot at me and then set the surrounding area on fire and then our poor cow would step into the embers and then turn into a blazing cooked steak and two I at least thought this would just be ultimately the safest way to relocate him now that zombie did go up in a pile of flames but nevertheless now we can safely hop back into our boat here and what I'm thinking of doing at this point is I'm gonna have to try and get this moo moo to drop down the chute that we have right here let's just go ahead and quickly get rid of the eight-legged multi eyed freak that's right there and in order to get the moo moo to safely get down from the surface to the stronghold is I'm gonna have to actually begin to expand the chute so that it, it's two blocks in length and two blocks in width and then all the way at the bottom what I'll do is I'll place down enough buckets of water so that then he can safely land in it and I don't necessarily know if he lands in a one block deep body of water if that will be safe enough for him to land in or if I have to then make it two blocks deep but now that I say this out loud and hear myself discussing it with you on camera, I think I'm just going to go ahead and play it safe and make the pit two blocks deep so that way then if he were to actually continue going down due to inertia, then at least he won't have to worry about hitting his poor little hoofs on the bottom of the body of water. Alright, so we have the chute expanded to be two blocks in length and two blocks in width and all the way at the bottom we have a safe drop for our cow to safely land in. Now let's go ahead and try and get this guy to come at us. If we have to then we'll just nudge 
ledge him over the ledge and now that I think about it that's probably gonna be a little more safer to do so let's go ahead and it's okay dude be brave just close your eyes just close your eyes and pretend you're going down a nice little ride there we go hopefully now he's not gonna begin to suffocate but oh my god oh my god is he actually he's holding his breath I know that hippopotamus can, I, I know that hippopotamuses can hold their breath for a long time under <gasps> Oh my god. Okay, so that was very, very unfortunate to see right before us, but nevertheless, I went ahead and searched far and wide. Not really that far, actually, although I did have to go quite a ways, just a wee little bit. But I have myself now another cow, and what I did was I raised the bottom of that pool just down there, so that way it's one block deep, and I'm hoping I'm gonna knock on my wooden desk now to see if that will be deep enough for him to safely land in without taking any fall damage. Just give him a quick Quick little nudge hopefully he had his eyes closed because it can be quite scary when you're going down a fall such as this let's go ahead and actually just drop all the way down safely land and what do you know the guy actually did not take that much fall damage so now that we're most of the way done oh no buddy please oh my god see that's what i'm talking about right no matter how cautious i am no matter how mindful i am in trying to calculate how much of a fall they're gonna have to endure and if they'll take any fall damage whatsoever it's almost as if the game just wants to see me fail let's go ahead and knock out this door Hopefully this is a wide enough block space for him to go through. Yes, it is now that we're almost here I just have to be mindful of silverfish that are gonna spawn, but I think Did he come with us? No, he didn't. All right, so all I'm gonna have to do real quick is make my way back over to the stronghold and that's gonna be easier That's actually not gonna be just easier said than done it's actually going to be quite easy to do because all i have to do is make my way back all the way here to the altar go through the portal and if i remember correctly my spawn point is not at the stronghold oh my days okay so i made it back here to the stronghold we have the cow sitting right on the ledge of the end portal i've reset my spawn at the bed right there so if anything happens and i have to go through the end portal from the end dimension i'll be sure to make it out right there that silverfish just went up in a blaze of glory and now it's time for a moment of truth. I want to make sure that I have my lead at the ready so in the event that this guy begins to wander towards the edge of the obsidian platform that he's going to be teleported to, we can just safely gather him on the lead. Here we go. And now that we have him there, let's go ahead and begin to escort him all the way up the pathway here into his little pen area and there we have it ladies and gentlemen we have successfully relocated one cow from the oval road here to the end on the main island now unfortunately as we all know this is not the same cow that we originally started with when it came to relocating one but for the sake of my own sanity, I am at least going to pretend that it is. And that's only because recording this episode, doing all this work on camera for you has been a little bit stressful. So please let me know in the comments down below what your favorite part of this episode was, if you have one. And if you did enjoy watching me derp a lot on camera, then be sure to give this video a like. But now it's time for the moment of truth. What is it that was so important that I thought I would go through all of this hassle to work towards? And that is cake. That's right. It has been brought to my attention in my Discord server that we need more cake. And hopefully Lil Red, the one who suggested this, well not so much suggested, but pointed out that we need more cake, I hope you at least enjoyed this because again this was a little stressful to work towards completing or at least work towards seeing through that this little issue was resolved and not having enough cake nearby but what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and begin to drop down the cake in random patches so in the chance that maybe I don't have enough cooked chicken on me and I am in dire need of replenishing my hunger then at least I'll have some cake nearby now since I already crafted the cake I think all I have to do now is click on this tab and then scroll through there we go and then bada bing bada boom bada boom 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 
So unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's pretty much going to do it for this episode. Like I said, if you enjoyed it, then be sure to leave a like. And if you are new to the channel, then I invite you to check out the rest of it. But do not forget to turn on notifications when subscribing. That way you will then be notified when future Minecraft and other gameplay content is uploaded from yours truly, Vanilla Raccoon. But I would like to wish you a happy day and peace out.